Hello everyone, this video tutorial introduces the QSAR toolbox in the web client. The web client is designed for users who are not familiar with the toolbox. It allows execution of relatively simple tasks with a limited number of interactions in a simplified interface. Meanwhile, it preserves the existing workflow of the toolbox desktop client so that the users, who are familiar with it, not to be confused. Another reason to have the web client is that larger organizations may host a toolbox server and give their users the possibility to connect to it via toolbox web client without the need of any installation. Web client is pre-installed with standalone QSAR toolbox 4.6. Three components appear on your desktop with the installation, desktop client, server, and web suite. Launching the web suite icon brings up a new window with two possibilities, Toolbox Web Client and Toolbox Web API. Clicking on the Web Client opens an internet browser with its interface. On the left is the navigation menu with all available features, grouped into categories, similar to those available in the desktop client. The menu ends up with a red button called Search Euclid Database, which is focus of the other tutorial. The main screen area is reserved for displaying a table, similar to the data matrix in the desktop client. Let's go with the example. Entering of the target happens in the input section by add chemicals button. There are several ways to enter a target by chemical identification number, by EC number, by chemical name or drawing. Let's add the target by type or paste its chemical identification number. Press search button. A single chemical is found. If more chemicals are found, they will be listed one after the other. Select it and confirm. The chemical appears on data matrix. Opening the structure info display the basic ID information of the target chemical. Next levels are empty, but they will be populated when the example continue. In this example we are interested in making read across prediction for skin sensitization endpoint and more specifically for EC3 local lymph node assay. The web client does not offer the full data gap filling functionalities of the desktop client. It is possible to perform a read across in the web client only when it is included in a pre-built automated workflow, as in this example. In this respect definition of the target endpoint will help us in the next steps of the workflow such as, which profilers to be used or how to collect analogs. Let's specify the target endpoint. Open human health hazards level and press sensitization. Some additional metadata will be filled such as, skin, in vivo, type of method, LLNA, assay, and EC3 endpoint. Once ready, an indication appears here. The next section from the menu allows calculating of 2D and 3D parameters for chemicals. This flash sign means that all parameters will be calculated with just a single click, while the next button requires user to make a specific selection. This feature is not demonstrated. The next two features are related to extracting profiles for chemicals and simulating metabolites for them. Let's profile the target chemical with the relevant profilers. Open Apply Profiling and press Specific Profilers. As seen some of the profilers are highlighted in green while the others have orange background. Color highlighting depends on the defined target endpoint and its meaning is the same as in the desktop client. In this we are selecting these two green profilers and confirm. The profiling results appear in this level. The target is classified as alpha beta unsaturated oxymes. More details for the protein binding alert could be seen when click on the last level. Additional information for each profiler could be seen by single click over its name. Application of metabolism happens in the next section. Press show under substances. Select skin metabolism simulator. The user could see the structure of each metabolite clicking on the respective smiles. The next step in the workflow is to find analogs. For this purpose we will use the knowledge obtained in the profiling section. The target is classified as alpha-beta unsaturated oxymes by endpoint specific protein binding profiler. This will be used for collecting analogs. Find this profiler and apply it. Type skin and select skin normalized database. Three analogs are found. Now it is time to fill the data gap. For this purpose we will use one of the automated workflows. Select the first workflow. 
This is the workflow used in the defined approaches for predicting skin sensitization, described in OECD Guideline 497. Results for the chemicals appear. The last step of this video is to show you how to apply QSAR models for the chemicals. For this demonstration we will use the last analog identified in the first demonstration. Remove all the rest analogs except the current one by the delete button. Go to for specified endpoint button. In this demonstration we will apply Danish genotoxicity models. Open human health level and click on genetic toxicity. Click on each Ashby model and move it in the bottom panel by the arrow. Click apply. The message asking to confirm license agreement appears. Press OK. The results appear. Congratulations. Now you are familiar with the QSAR toolbox functionalities in Web Client. If you want to know more about search in Euclid database hosted in the Web Client, watch the respective video.